So the Ibex has been my favorite rock tire for a long time. You can see the knobs, you can twist them. They're really twisty and bendy and soft. That's just It just gives you great traction. And uh, I've used it for a long time, and I really like the tire a lot. So I'm going to do a comparison between the Kenda Ibex and the Kenda Gnarly. Now, the first thing I want to say, though, is I'm not a super crazy fast guy. I mean, I race Enduro, some hair scrambles. I'm a B rider. I can hold my own as a B rider, but I'm not like a crazy, crazy fast guy or anything. And I think that's relevant because most people out there riding dirt bikes aren't crazy, insane fast guys. So anyway, this is a, going to be a comparison between the uh, Kenda Gnarly and the Kenda Ibex. The Ibex was originally designed for uh, wet rocks, slow technical terrain, and hard enduros. But because it does give you great traction in the te technical terrain, it inevitably found its way over to regular enduros, uh, sprint enduros, and things like that. Now the thing about the Ibex is when its life is done, it, it goes out pretty dramatically. Um, like, like this one right here has 199 miles on it, 199 miles of, of normal trail, dirt roads, some technical stuff, a good combination of things. I mean, sometimes you'll see picture, pictures like this, Ibex here, you'll, you know, people will post it and be like, oh, look, this Ibex, the knobs are flying off, oh my gosh, ah! That's just how this tire dies. That's the end of its life, it kicks knobs off. But here's the thing about the Ibex. When it dies, it does kick off those knobs, but take a look at this. The knobs are still almost as tall as they were when it was new. That's the thing that's great about the Ibex. Now, riders like me that love the Ibex, I get it. it gives you great traction, mad traction on muddy rocks, technical terrain, but the trade-off is it doesn't last as long as other tires, and uh, I'm okay with that. And again, it's been my favorite tire for a long time, but now Kenda has a new tire for rocky terrain. It's called the Kenda Gnarly. Now, the Gnarly, I find it wears more like other tires. Um, as you can see, that this is a this is a Kenda Gnarly. These two tires have pretty much the same mileage on them, and we're literally on the same trails. I was, my son was on the Ibex. I was on the Gnarly following him. All right, now one's dirty and one's clean. Okay, whatever. Uh, we washed his bike before he took the tire off. Took my tire off before I washed my bike, but no big deal. Now you can see on the Gnarly, it hasn't lost any lugs at all. The, nug, the lugs have just gotten shorter. So what I find is a gnarly gives you really great traction. You still have the benefit of those really twisty, soft uh, knobs or lugs, whatever you want to call them. But the thing that seems to me is, as the gnarly gets used, it sort of wears down. It sort of wears out more like a traditional tire. But here's another angle of it. Uh, this is the Kenda Ibex. You can see on the gnarly, it's wearing down as more of a traditional tire. Um, it's slowly the knobs are getting shorter and shorter and shorter until it finally goes bald. I think what happens here with the gnarly is you get that twisty, soft knobs, but it wears out like a normal tire. Now again with the Ibex, even though the tire's done, look how tall the knobs are. They're a lot taller than the gnarly knobs are. Both do great in the rocky technical terrain. Both last about the same time. I mean the gnarly might last a little bit longer, uh, the gnarly wears out as a, more like a traditional tire where the knobs just slowly wear down until it finally is bald. The Ibex goes out uh, you know, very dramatic. Now, as far as handling, I think that the gnarly gives you pretty much the same traction on those tough technical wet rocks that the Ibex does. Um, one thing I didn't, some of the things I did notice with the uh, gnarly, for me, it seems to break a little bit better than the Ibex, uh, especially in, in the mud. I mean, it's not a mud tire, but a lot of times, um, at least in, here on the East Coast, if you're riding in rocks, you're going to end up in, in a mud hole of some sort eventually, or at least some wet soil or something. And in those uh, situations, the, the gnarly does seem to break better than the Ibex. Uh, the other thing I noticed, too, is if you hit a mud hole and you happen to twist a throttle in the mud hole, if you ride the Ibex a lot, you'll know, you already know the Ibex. It will kick out on you, maybe not a whole lot, but a significant amount. It'll kick. Uh, for me, it usually kicks to the left. Uh, I noticed the Ibex, or, or sorry, I noticed the uh, the Gnarly doesn't do that much at all. And in fact, uh, a lot of times I didn't notice it kicking out at all when it uh, when I got in a mud hole and, and twisted the throttle some. Now this was the first Gnarly I've run. Uh, here in my trailer I have a, another Gnarly. Uh, this one hardly has any mileage on it at all. I just ran a, a Sprint Enduro with it uh, last week. And 
But what I noticed on this Sprint Enduro is uh, there was about three or four miles of grass track and then three or four miles of woods. Uh, but what really surprised me on the uh, the gnarly was in the grass track section, it was a grass grass field. There weren't any berms or anything like that. There were just a lot of flat turns. Some of them were off camber, and uh, it could be tricky sometimes. But the what really surprised me about the kind of gnarly is it, it didn't it didn't slide. It really it really it really gripped in those turns on that grass track. Um, if you ride the ibex a lot, you'll know that uh, sometimes that, a situation like that can get a little bit sketchy on the ibex. It will want to it will want to kick out a little bit you know, when you're in those uh, grass grass track turns. But the uh, the gnarly, uh, I, I believe in my opinion, the gnarly outperformed the Ibex in a grass track section. And then when we got into the wood section and stuff like that, the Ibex, uh, it performed, or sorry, the gnarly rather, it, it performed uh, it performed like the Ibex. I mean, it, it handled the roots well, it handled the rocks well. You know, the, the gnarly did really well. Oh, the other thing about the gnarly, I forgot to mention, I should have mentioned it sooner, is you can mount the gnarly for soft terrain or intermediate terrain. And you just switch it directions. So that's about it with the uh, Kenda Ibex versus the Kenda Gnarly. Um, I do really think I'm starting to like this Kenda Gnarly a lot. It does have a lot of advantages. I mean, I, I'm going to keep running it for a while, um, but I, you know, it might not, it might, it won't surprise me if the Gnarly ends up being. Uh, my new favorite tire for technical terrain, but it's going to take a little while. I mean, it's uh, it's 2020, uh, all the COVID stuff. There's not a lot of racing events to 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 ride or anything like that. I do really think I'm starting to like this Kenda gnarly a lot. It does have a lot of advantages, um, a lot of improvements over the Ibex. Um, I mean, officially, I think the Ibex is still my favorite tire, but but we'll see. I have an idea that, that I might be uh, switching over to making my favorite tire the Kenda gnarly. But we'll see. Yeah, some other good rock tires by Kenda are is the uh, Kenda Triple. And if you're looking for a rock tire and you want something that's going to wear really well and last a really long time when you're riding on rocks, the Kenda Triple is a pretty good choice. It lasts a long time on rocks. It still gives you good traction on rocks, better than uh, some other tires that uh, that are supposed to last a long time on rocks. Um, it may not be as sticky on tough technical, especially wet rocks. Um, it might not be as, as sticky on those as the, the Ibex or the Gnarly, but it is a good good uh, tire for uh, for rocks. It's also a DOT approved tire um, if, if you need that, uh, if that's important to your, to your riding and things like that. Another good rock tire is the Kenda Equilibrium. Now that tire's been out for a little bit. Uh, it does have good, soft, sticky knobs. That's a great rock tire. Uh, the only thing about the the uh, Kenda Equilibrium is it doesn't do as well in the mud. Now, if you're in a, a rocky area where you're going to be hitting some wet rocks, going through some mud, and then hitting wet ro rocks and things like that, or, or just you know really wet terrain in between your rock sections, the Equilibrium's you know it's not it's not going to be the best choice probably. It's a good rock tire if it's dry. If you're out somewhere where there's a lot of dry rocks, a lot of dry terrain, the Kenda Equilibrium is really good for something like that. Again, it's a great, great rock tire if you're in a, a dry, uh, dry area. Yeah, Kenda Triple. I, uh, I've run one of those, and I have a rocky section that I practice in, and uh, I put a lot of miles, a lot of, a lot of hours on that Kenda Triple, and uh, it, it didn't look like it wore much at all. I mean, I did a lot of spinning on those rocks too. There were some rocks I got hung up on. I would just spun and spun and spun, and uh, that tire held up pretty well. I was really impressed. I mean, it's not quite as sticky and tacky as the Ibex or the Gnarly, but if you're looking for a rock tire that's going to last a while, kind of triple is a pretty good choice. If you need help deciding which tire to ride, uh, you know, based on what uh, what event you're riding this weekend or where you're riding with some buddies this weekend or, or based on a train where you live, things like that, on Kenda's website, there's uh, there's this uh, this train chart here will show you uh, which tires you can choose on uh you can find this right on Kenda's, uh, Kenda's website. Um, you can notice some tires, they cross over a couple of different trains and things like that. And uh, I, I found that they're pretty, to uh, be pretty accurate. I mean, some of the tires you'll see will cover two or three different kind of trains, and, and they really do work pretty good in all those kinds of trains. Um, but anyway, you can find a, a, a Kenda train uh, chart right on their website. And that can also help you with the tire selection.